topics and the questions in each topic, I can assure you, none of the questions has been shared with the commission or the two candidates. This debate is being conducted under health and safety protocols designed by the Cleveland Clinic, which is serving as the health security advisor to the commission for all four debates. As a precaution, both campaigns have agreed that candidates will not shake hands at the beginning of tonight's debate. Let's go, Joe. The audience here in the hall has promised to remain silent. No cheers, no Gotta boos, see something or presidential tonight. we, and more importantly you, can focus on what the candidates have to say. No noise except right now, as we welcome the Republican nominee, President Trump, and the Democratic nominee, Vice President Biden. Let's go. We both look old and sick. Wow. This is crazy. Wow. Gentlemen, a lot of people have been waiting for the night, so President let's get Trump. going. Our first subject is Tight. the Supreme Court. Charcoal blue gray President suit. Trump, you nominated Amy Coney Barrett over the weekend to succeed the late Ruth Bader Ginsburg on the court. Hmm, wait, you say the time. Constitution is clear about your obligation and the Senate's Shoulders to consider firm. a nominee to the court. Head up straight. Vice President Biden, you say that this is an effort by the President Face and wrinkly. Republicans you see the to jam through in an top. appointment and like what you call Superman an abuse of power. My first question like to bangs. both of you tonight, why are you right in make the argument you make and your opponent wrong and but he where does do look you think Presidential and a little tired. Would take the court. President Trump, in this first segment, you go first. Biden, nice blue suit. I will tell Crispy you, white shirt. We won the election. Elections have tie. consequences. Mm. We have the I Senate. Know. We don't have look the White House. For president. And we have a phenomenal nominee, respected by all. Top, top academic. Uh, good in every way. Good in every but way. I must admit. In fact, uh, some of her biggest. Endorsers are very liberal people Biden does look from Notre Dame and other places. So I think she's going to be fantastic. We have plenty of he time. Looks like he's ready to uh, Even if we did it after the election <laughs> itself. I have a lot of time after the election, as you know. It's just my opinion. So I think that uh, she will be outstanding. She's going to be uh, as good as anybody that has served on that court. We really feel that. Uh, we have a professor at Notre Dame, highly respected by all, said she's the single greatest student he's ever had. He's been a professor for a long time at a great school. And uh, we just, uh, we won the election, and therefore we have the right to choose her. And very few people knowingly would say otherwise. And by the way, the Democrats, they wouldn't even think about not doing it. If they had, the Supreme only difference Court is they're trying to do it faster. This is There's no way they would give it up. They had Merritt Garland, but the problem is they didn't yeah. have the election. So they were stopped. And probably that would happen in reverse also. Definitely would happen in reverse. So we won the election, and we have the right to do it, Chris. President Trump, thank you. Um, same question to you, Vice President Biden. You have two minutes. Biden, well, first of all, too many questions. Um, too many thank answers. You for Sorry. Doing this. I look forward to this, Mr. President. I, uh, the They're American respectful people, of each other have a right, right now. to have a say who the Supreme Court nominee is. And that say occurs when they vote for a United States senator and when they vote for the President of the United States. They're not going to get that chance now because we're in the middle of an election already. The election has already started. Tens of thousands of people have already voted. And so the thing that should happen is we should wait. We should wait and see what the outcome of this election is. Because that's the only way the American people get to express their view is by who they elect as president and who they elect as vice president. Now, what's at stake Let's go here, by the president's made it clear he wants to get rid of the Affordable Care Act. He's been running on that, he ran on that, and he's been governing on that. He's in the Supreme Court right now trying to get rid of oh, um, the, uh, the Affordable Care Act, bite it is which sharp. will strip 20 million people from having insurance, health insurance now, if it, if, they, if it goes health in the court. Insurances. And, and uh, the justice, and I have nothing, I'm not opposed to the justices, but she seems like a very fine person. But she's written before she went in the bench, which is her right, that she thinks that the Affordable Care Act is not constitutional. The other thing that's on the court, and if, if, if it's struck down, what happens? Women's rights are fundamentally changed. Once again, a woman could be held 
pay more money because she has a pre-existing condition of pregnancy. We were able to, they were able to charge a woman more for the same exact procedure a man did get. And that ended when we, in fact, passed the Affordable Care Act. And there's 100 million people who have pre-existing conditions, and they'll be taken away as well. Those pre-existing conditions, the insurance companies are going to love this. And so it's just not appropriate to do this before this election. If he wins the election and the Senate is Democrat or Republican, then it, he goes forward. If not, we should wait until February. All right. There aren't 100 million people with pre-existing conditions. As far as the say is concerned, the people already had their say. They, okay, just as Ginsburg uh -oh. said very powerfully, very strongly, at some point, do his first 10 years ago quote or so, she come said to the a president course. and the Senate is elected for a period of time, but a president's elected for four years. We're not elected for three years. I'm not elected for three years. So we have the Senate, we have a president. He's elected to the next During election. that period of time, during that period of time, we have an opening. I'm not elected for three years. I'm elected for four years. The and the 100 million started. people, Joe, the 100 million people is totally wrong. I don't know where you got that number. The bigger problem that you have is that you're going to extinguish 180 million people with their private health care, that they're very That's happy simply with. not true. Well, you said I'm going to socialist. I'm going to socialist. We're now into, gentlemen, we're Check now into the open, discussion. Open, discussion. Open, discussion. open discussion. Open discussion. Yes, I agree. Open discussion. Ahead, Vice President. Number one. Let's take your time um, out. He, he knows that. Uh, what